Hi, Libra Seeker. How was your birthday? And a new year begins. Happy post-birthday. My lovely Libra. Sun, moon, rising, and Venus. So, Venus is about to retro in your sign. November 1st. Nine of Pentacles, and it's doing us good. Venus feels more comfortable, allegedly, in um, Libra than she is than she does in Scorpio. Libra, you are ruled by Venus. She's at home with you. So even if she's retrograding, you know, it's one thing to go through dark night of the soul in a strange place that is also a cave full of demons that reminds you also the darkness of the world <laughs> and humanity, a.k.a. Scorpio elsewhere, under realms and all that. And it's a whole other thing to go through your Venus retro where she feels at home. So you're going through the retro, your the dark nights of the soul, the awareness, the healing in your safe place. You will be feeling at home. Venus will be feeling at home, retrograding in your sign until the 16th. And then she moves forward in your sign. So for the month, she is in your sign. Half of it, half the first half retrograding, the second half direct. You will begin the month of November feeling at home, being at home. Not necessarily yet feeling it, but the structure is beginning to already um, have a clear shape to it. And then once it goes direct, you'll be like, oh, hi, yes. You'll also be very much aware of it. Because you'll wake up. You'll wake up. And we're starting this fun stuff with Nine of Pentacles. So... And this is interestingly very symbolic, kind of paints what I just said. This is the behind uh, Rido Waite tarot deck. So we're seeing her, the Nine of Pentacles, like the point of view of behind her. We're seeing her back. So she's in her safe place, right? But she's not looking in that place. She's looking outside. She's still, she's there physically, but maybe in her mind she's still elsewhere. The beginning of November. But after that, I feel like it will go into like, oh, hey, home. Huh? Along those lines. All right. Six of cups, two of swords. But the issues are still very real. Even more so now that you'll be feeling safer and better and more at ease. What do I mean by that? When we're super busy, when we have a really long day, we can't afford to know that we're tired. It's only when we get back home, put our head on the pillow, and fall asleep so fast that we realize how tired we were. When you are on auto mode, handling things, handling life, handling survival, whatnot, you can't really afford to feel what you've been carrying with you or the consequences of the past. But when you'll finally find yourself in your place, in your job, in your apartment, in your, with your partner, with the real thing that is really for you, that has longevity, that has stability, then things will start to come up. Being like, remember us? So you were kind of busy, so we were kind of numb back there in your subconscious. Childhood stuff. This is childhood psychology. Things will start coming up. 
you will start feeling the results and the understandings and the realizations of Venus retrograding, especially in the first part of the month. In the first part of the month, you'll feel safe, and then, and then that's when things will start coming up. And there will be a lot of work of finding the balance between all these things that are knocking at your door and being like, I, I want I want resol resolution. Um, I want a conversation. Um, I, I need closure. Um, can, can we talk about this? But you didn't really feel this back then because you were busy. Can you feel me now? This pain that... It could come as people from your past wanting to talk to you, family members, conversations, childhood friends. Things will start coming up into the surface and it will be a great opportunity because you'll have the, the, the sense of safety that will allow you to address these things. You're no longer walking on a thin rope. You feel grounded. So, okay, now let's address things. That's what the first part of November is going to bring with, if not already, by the way. You, you, you're already feeling this, Libra. Right now. Now, when she's retrograding in Scorpio, Venus, meaning, it's really deep. It's like past lifetimes. It's like soul things, energy work. When Libra kicks in, when Venus goes into Libra, that's when psychology, this lifetime, our current childhood, relationships, that's when that will start kicking in. Believe me. <laughs> I'm just being a joker. It's not going to be bad, guys. You'll be in your safe zone. You'll have all the tools and... Uh, and um, support to allow you to do that make good good use of it you whatever it is that is coming up you want to address because you don't want to carry that to the next year to 2019 you want to really do a good work during november december will be very uh, benevolent energetic time a lot of planets are starting to go direct Things are easing up. More of a celebration kind of energy. Holidays are coming. Maybe that's why family stuff will come up because it's the holidays. And you're, you're going to have to go and see them. But guess what? It's going to be freaking lovely. Much better than you can imagine. Ace of Cups, Knight of Cups, Ten of Cups, Eight of Wands. Wow. Wow. No, seriously? <laughs> These will be flowing, easy, great conversations, sweet encouragement type of resolutions. That will open up, uh, <laughs> it will open up your heart chakra. Being like, something in you will, will have a newfound affection, love, even admiration to people around you, to family members, to old friends. That sense of conclusion and closures will really kind of turn on a switch in your heart that was a little bit numb, that will send like little fire electricity currents in your head and brain and everything. And it will open something up that will allow something really, really, really serious and beautiful and real to come into your life. Some of you are being proposed to. I'm not kidding. This month, some of you are being proposed. This is like, I have Ace of Cups, Six of Cups, Ace of Cups, Knight of Cups, Ten of Cups. I mean, like they, they won't even leave me room to negotiate the associations or the interpretations or the free choice and it's like someone, someone's someone's being proposed to or proposing and it's a very immediate absolute yes 
It's something that you've known in your heart and certainty. You've known in your heart, but a lot of there was a lot of um, things and stuff going on in your life or in your other uh, person in, or in your person's life. And now it's like this Venus retrograde is really working us well. I feel like once all these things, if you'll do the work, guys, that's a big if. For those of you who are doing the work, for those of you who are doing the work, this is what really is kind of presenting itself to, to you. Ah. Love, family, friendship, opportunity, success. Ooh. <laughs> Three of Pentacles and the Devil. Hey, hello. Why not? You're starting to build. Structure. Create in accordance to all that jazzy, harmonious energy. And then the devil kicks in. Hi, what do you want? Like, what is this? How do you even fit in this reading? Nothing even remotely insinuates your existence. Maybe perhaps a little bit the Two of Swords with the Six of Cups. Yeah, that's where it is. Whatever it is that you won't be resolving or avoid or deny, or, or shove it for later, it will pop up even stronger after you will start building the foundations and according to what I just saw, aka let's say you were proposed, okay now we're starting to plan uh, for the wedding or you got married, okay now we're renovating the home, I don't know, all that. Once you go through the next level, that's when it will come back again even bigger, even stronger, which is why this is a warning to resolve things as they come in the next month as they come do not procrastinate no room for procrastination so many good stuff so many good stuff so many good stuff are really about to knock on your door you really need to have room in your house to let them in You can't afford to, to dismiss not even one opportunity or a benevolent guest because you don't have room for it. So whatever this is in your life, whatever this devil is, this could be a very toxic relationship that you refuse to let go of. Uh, this could be a toxic work environment that you just refuse to quit. Um, this could be habits, addictions, fears, neglections. Anything that is of the... Um, lazy cowardly nature show me further for this devil because i think there's another option coming up in my head what this might be nine of swords okay all right okay Yes, this is for dramatic effect. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. A little longer? Okay. No, yeah, I'll keep going. Until you fucking get it. Because. Look at this. No, really. Do you want to lose this? Do you want to lose this opportunity? No? Okay. So. This, this piece of S can't win. Don't let anyone harass you, stalk you, try to possess you, try to coerce you, play games with you. Don't allow anyone to affect your newfound happiness. Don't allow yourself to affect your newfound happiness. If you have depression and your doctor prescribed a certain pill for you that can really help you, serotonin, for example, take it. 
don't be an arrogant something and be like, oh, now that I'm so happy, now I'm probably better. If you have an addiction that you have been hiding, address it now. Not tomorrow, not after the wedding, not after the moving in together, not after I start the job. Now. Now, this doesn't have to be extreme. This could be, you know that this thing here that I'm talking, that I've been talking to you about in the beginning requires dark nights of the soul. And you don't want to, you just want to have lovey-dovey, happy feelings. So you just don't listen to my advice and just suppress and suppress it will come back 10 times fold okay gotta say it as it is and I, the reason i'm so intense with that is because there's so much go good going on on the table this is gold libra this is gold If you're starting to build something amazing with an amazing partner who's everything that you've ever dreamed of and then someone from your past is coming back and being like hey remember me I'm still not promising anything still not offering anything just want to know that you're still around to be mine because I'm a narcissist if that piece of something knocks on your door be like <laughs> Time to be happy, Libra. Time to be happy, time to be safe. Some of you, and this is a very small part of, amount of you because, and here's the thing, um, I'm, I'm, I'm giving, um, I'm doing this talk because a lot of people mess up and fuck up a lot and then they're like, oh, I have uh, someone put a curse on me or I have something energetic that is keeping ruining things for me yeah your way of behavior sometimes things happen for a reason and sometimes the reason is that we are dumbasses most people who say that I'm like mm -hmm. talk to me again about your bad habits and how you tend to always screw up things for yourself okay so I'm talking about the selective few who are very aware and very sharp and very driven and very um, hardworking and they do things and they do it as best as they can and they're balanced and there's no reason absolutely no legitimate reason for them to be in a situation where they are unsuccessful or weak or whatnot some of you might have something energetic that is leeching over you okay have you done a seance when we when you were young opened a door to who knows what and since then it's been sucking your blood I don't know if have you um, again I'm being really careful with what I'm, I'm about to say because um, healing plants like marijuana and things like that they are so damn great and they help and they heal so many people out there. So what I'm saying is not anti-marijuana whatsoever. What I'm saying is everything is problematic when we overindulge in it and when we overdo it, okay? So when you become um, codependent on it, when you do it every single day, when you can't go to sleep without it, I'm not talking about medical marijuana if a doctor listed it for you, but if, that's not the situation and you're at a place where you just numb you your pain um, and you just lose your ability to handle and cope with life circumstances because you just let the plant do it for you um, nothing come nothing nothing happens for free okay nature always seeks balance giving and receiving it's not a bad thing it's a natural thing every plant is has character and is powerful and can you know all medicine is made of plants that can heal you or kill you depending on the quantity and the combination it's just chemistry okay um 
if you're taking too much, so the transaction is that you're allegedly getting your peace of mind, not because you're coping or because you're processing, but because you're just shoving it down and, and, and numbing it, while simultaneously in return for that, whatever substance you're using is taking away your energy. It's a business deal, right? You weren't aware of it, but you, you take, you give. For those of you that it's relevant for, and you know if it's you, okay, if you're in doubt and like, mm -hmm, you, if you feel weak physically, but the doctor says you're fine, okay? If you feel um, tired and have no motivation, but you don't tend to suffer from depression, and it's not something clinical, and on the surface there's no reason for it. Um, if luck seems to be really running out, like everything messes up, nothing goes according to your plans, um, like everything that can go wrong goes wrong, even though you're doing everything right. I'm not talking about people who are not doing things right and are late for things and forget things and misplace things. I'm talking about people who are aware and sharp, but still things just kind of weirdly mess up all the time. Um, if you're losing your hair, even though you're not in that age and your DNA shows that everything is fine and your, and your blood test shows that everything is fine, all that. Things like that. Maybe something energetically is taking away your energy, your chi, your life force. So you need to make sure to first immediately cut out any sort of business transactions with any plants. Cold, cold turkey. Okay? If you're taking too much medicine and too much way above what you should be taking. Okay, and I'm not a doctor, please. I'm saying this with like, these are general readings. Please consult with your doctor first and foremost, okay? But if it's too much and it's imbalanced and it's not making you feel good, maybe it's time to reassess, reevaluate what you need to take. And some of you, things are going to start being so good that you're going to start getting so terrified of losing it and you'll go into this mind loop of like what if a lot of anxiety this is a very anxious combination of a lot of fear and um uh you know um, anxiety attacks let's hold to the facts to that the fact that everything is fine and great and not you know ruin it for ourselves i want to look further into this because i can't be having such a great row and then these two are like nine of swords the devil like seriously can, what do you want <laughs> probably for me to say the things that i've just said okay too many cards let's keep going please for libra sun moon rising venus Ooh, the world card that fell right on the Ace of Cups and the Knight of Cups. So you're gonna, you got this, Libra. You're gonna handle this like a champ. You're gonna handle this like a champ, and you got this. Completion, wholesomeness, fulfillment, real massive success. I see. Success with work, I see success with family, I see success with romance. If you have children, then with that as well, you've, you're going to resolve a few issues and then you're going to feel on top of the world because everybody's communicating, everybody this, everybody that. There might be that one person in the family that is might be going through some challenges. Maybe someone is going through uh, emotional problems or psychological problems or some sort of an addiction thing that all the family will feel the need to kind of... Um, be there for them. There is, um, someone has paid their karmic dues when it comes to relationships and love, which is why you're going to get something really, 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 really sweet. Something really sweet, Libra. 
some kind of an offer for happiness. I know it sounds cliche, but it's just it's, it's high it's in the cards. Um, show me more, please, for Libra. For my Libra seeker. For November. Okay. So I have here the Nine of Wands. the Hierophant. Let me look for a second. I have this um, image of, it's a very specific narrative, so don't hold, hold. Hold your horses if it's not for you. We'll keep this reading. General readings. Um, I have this image of, you know, maybe there's a wedding or a celebration or a holiday. So people are gathering, like family members are traveling to a home of one of those family members who's celebrating um, or have this event. And it's like a stay over thing, right? Like say... You're staying in a hotel or in a countryside with a lot of other family members and friends that are celebrating the same occasion. And even though it's really happy and good and great, it also brings up naturally everything that meeting so many people from your past and close relationships and family members can bring up. And some of you will encounter a certain truth that you have um, not been aware of. Either someone was hiding something from you you know, something is going to come out. The truth is going to come out to the light um, regarding either a family secret or something that was kind of hidden. Maybe one of you is going to tumble into an office, open a drawer and find something interesting. I, 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 or someone is going to slip out uh, something in the conversation where you'll be like, wait, what? I, I didn't know that about my mother or father or wh whatever. Um, and that will make you really upset and confused and anxious, but it will also help close a cycle, help bring some sort of uh, illumination for something that was hidden from your childhood, potentially. Um, and once the truth is out, once this is completed and you're feeling like something was sorted, um, there will be some sort of peace that will come with it some sort of um okay now i understand now now i get certain why certain things been a certain way and what happened there and what was there it will kind of bring some sort of um and i feel like whoever has been hiding this from you um it's been really um Haunting, haunting them that secret maybe someone will feel like they have to tell you something or just take it off their chest and be patient and forgiving because they've been carrying it for a really long time and even if it's something that makes you really upset know that whatever it is that they were hiding or doing they did it because they felt that was the right thing to do uh, in a way kind of for you. Maybe it's something that they thought you sh you better off not knowing. I don't know. But the intention was good even though it wasn't right of them to do that. I'm not excusing anything. If it's you're the one who's doing it, then I'm encouraging to talk about it and to tell. Um, because that's the right thing to do. So that's an interesting narrative. Uh Please let me know if this speaks to you. We'll go through November and see. <laughs> I don't know, but this is very interesting. Oh, Libra. Mm. I have three nines on the table. Nines. Um, and I have two major arcana, which are the devil and the hierophant, and they are um opposing each other 
in the tarot. There are the lie and the truth, the dark and the light. The two different oppositions, extremities of the same scale. So we will go all we will go into that, especially with the three nines, anything that is repetitive, um, we'll go deeper into that in the extended. Let's see. Oh, I have the world here as well. Of course, we'll take it with us. Sorry. The devil, the hierophant, and the world. Yeah, a, a completion when it comes to your um, sense of self and what you perceive to be good versus right, what you perceive to be truth and lie, and the, the, the gray line in between and the rainbow in between. The world says that we're achieving some sort of realization and completion and a sense of wholeness inside of us with all these different forces in our life. Okay, let's keep going. For Libra, this is a very interesting reading. <laughs> let's keep going for Libra for the month of November. Four of Cups. Now, this is the behind tarot, should I remind you, and see what's up in here. We see this um, Four of Cups individual here leaning on the tree, the cup being presented to her. But there's three cups on the ground that she's busy with. But this cup being given to her from sky, this is like a Pegasus, a unicorn, <laughs> a flying, a mythical, magical beast that wants to make your dreams come true. So, whatever, some of you are really getting. A really 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 loving sweet benevolent offer like all the cards here like seriously um, and I don't want you to have doubts about it I don't want you to feel insecure or worried I want you to allow yourself to feel the goodness in it your body will tell you Okay, and then either your brain will argue or not, but if you have this sense of ease kind of just spreading all over and out and within you, a sense of calm, warmth, warmth when that offer comes in, please listen to that. And don't allow your past demons to prevent you from taking this opportunity because this opportunity needs to be taken fast. Um, it's not something to linger with or to hold back with. This is the timing. Bottom of the deck, the Empress. You're, you're seeing the horizon. You know, you know it's coming. And I see you're just like sitting there being like, mm hmm. Yeah, I know it's good. I'm winning. <laughs> you know, and, and, and that's good. Keep the gates open. Look your best. And accept it. If something is really uh, shady, I mean, because these are general readings, if something is really shady, it doesn't feel right and you know it's someone that, that tends to lie and that you don't believe them and all everything about you says no 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 don't don't say yes okay <laughs> this is for those of you that it, it's benevolent and it feels right and you know and you know it's what you wanted and you know it's what you've been preparing for okay okay also three nines and the empress someone is either getting pregnant or talking about expanding or thinking or wanting children the card of the rebirth judgment the awakening bottom of the deck the Sun I mean guys could this get any better and we just spoke of a child and here I have the Sun with the child and there's children here there's children everywhere so it's either like a lot of family gatherings with cousins and nephews and siblings um or it's yours or you're just literally thinking about expanding and the cars are like yeah go for it go for it um let's conclude this and see if there's anything else 
we need to tell okay guys just really it's just a great month for you just take the advice do the work and let me know what it was that you've received um, some sort of bountiful offer this could be a love offer this could be a job offer something that you've always wanted to do that was always circling in your head or and throughout your years like of trying to do trying to achieve that position trying to succeed in that career path trying to make something work and then suddenly you're just you're in your power and you're in your beauty and Taurus here is very strong by the way I have the Hierophant um, and the Empress so you're looking really, really, really attractive. You're looking really good, Libra, in the next month. My moon is in Libra, so maybe this speaks to me too, I hope, maybe. Anyway, so this is looking good. Like, you're in your power, you're in your zone, you're in your Venus, you're in your beauty. Venus retrograding in Libra. This is Venus in Libra for now. And bringing up all these, you know, things to life and all this newfound awareness is going to do you a lot of good. It won't always feel great. Sometimes it's it's painful to go through the Pandora box, right? Every time I see the star card, I talk to you about this. I don't know if you're new to my channel. If you are, please subscribe. But if you've been following me, you know when I see the, the, the star. You have to go through the depths of your subconscious and your psyche in order to achieve purity and the fountain of youth, everything that the star talks about. You can't be pure if you're filled with stuff that you don't want to handle and you don't want to address. Before hope came out, all the demons came out of the box. And she opened it because she was curious and she discovered the truth about the world. Maybe whatever it is that you're about to potentially discover this month that was hidden from you, maybe if this is relevant to you um, is gonna trigger a lot of um, realizations and downloads of understanding things and a lot of um, you know resolutions and it will just really really open a bright new path for you that is clean and clear and, and like it will help you take off your 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 load, your 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 baggage that you've been carrying with, and some of you didn't even know you've been carrying this with you. Some of you are going through a purification process in the next month, maybe from addiction or from bad habits, and you have a great support system around you, either family members, loved ones, uh, mothers, siblings. Or maybe one of your family members could be a mother that is going through that. Um, okay. All right. What I'm about to say is for very few of you. And it's because of the combination of Nine of Swords, the Devil, Judgment, and the Sun. Um, someone that you have grieved over, that you have lost. You know this. This is not a permission. This is something that has happened could be a father figure um, I'm getting the chills a little bit so I don't tend to talk like this I don't know if I believe that specifically the energy of a loved one is still around if they passed away I tend to think that it's either their Act, the, the energy that they that was left here because of physics energy has you know um existence in the physical 3d world so sometimes we still feel them but it's the energy that was left behind um so i don't necessarily see it as a ghost or as a but i i, I can't pretend to know because i don't really know who who, do, who does really know right so for those of you who have that either father figure or mother figure if you lost a parent as a child and you feel like there's a lot of unknowns or unclarity in that um that energy is really strong in the next month of guiding you and um helping you find out certain things that you didn't know and wants to show you 
sorry. <laughs> Seriously? <laughs> now I'm getting this? <laughs> but um, it's something that will really help you out. And you're really guided and cared for and... The things will get clear and the truth will be shown to you and some of you and I'm sorry I have to say this um, if you have lost someone and I believe in reincarnation so it's not hard for me to say that from that aspect it's just hard for me to say that because I know these are general readings and I just I just hope the person that it's for will be accurate with it and know that it's for them don't try to don't try to force the message in your life if it's not really resonating with you because I'm getting so many narratives, but they're all very specific. So just pick and choose what speaks, speaks to you, okay? But what I'm getting is, in this aspect, is that if you lost a loved one, like a parent or something like that, and you're either pregnant or not yet, but when you will, um, I, I feel like they will be back in the form of your child. Um, which is pretty beautiful. Um, this is very strong time for many of us, Libra. This entire year of retrogrades has been so intense for everybody. And looking back, I'm not. I know I'm not alone in feeling like, wow. <laughs> This was like, I don't know, 20 years straight of psychological therapy and energetic therapy squeezed into one year. The healing was intense, and but then the experience was intense. Um, but this was all just to open kind of a portal, a, get, a gateway to, to, cleans, uh, to cleanse us, to clean us, to make us prepared for the next year where a lot of us are really tapping into our true path and destiny that we need to be walking on. And if we weren't on it, then life was really just like, ur, 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 you're supposed to go there. And then the, the turn is confusing and hard and painful, but then it, now you're being, being put on your path. So if you were already on your path in the past year, it was somewhat easier. But if you weren't, then it was like, okay, let's, uh, mm, now you're on it <laughs> um and yeah it's confusing and weird but let's be grateful for it let's let's be full of gratitude because whatever this is it's with full full um positive intention for your growth and for your expansion and for your success and for your happiness um sorry Libra, what you do to me? <laughs> okay, let's conclude. I, okay, I'm going to conclude with messages from the Akashic Tarot, which is an amazing oracle that um, brings with the messages from the Akashic Records, the library of all knowledge of this lifetime, of all lifetimes, of this universe, of all universes. Basically, imagine like an endless library with information about everything. Oh, and it's cosmic. You can't really visit it physically. Maybe, yeah. Anyway, so messages from that. Um, but first, I want to finish up this reading, conclude it with the writer tarot, and then I'll show you your extended. Okay, spirit, spirit tarot energy. Let's conclude this reading for November for Libra. And we conclude with you. King of Swords, this is you. Hi. Um, and again, a baby. So the story behind what I see here, because usually you don't see that in the regular Rider Waite deck, because this behind tarot, and you have, you see here, a woman and a man. The baby is behind. It's almost like um, King Solomon. 
who's considered to be the smartest and wisest king and very just and fair and wise. So people from all over would come to him to, for um, resolutions. And there is the story of, in the story that I'm about to tell you, it's actually two women, but it, here it's a man and a woman, it's the same thing. So two people come with a baby, with a child. The child is mine. One says the child is mine, the other says the child is mine. And there is no way of actually proving um, which one of the people deserves to have the kid with him. So King Solomon does something pretty badass. And he's like, okay, you know, I have no facts here or there. I have to be fair. So I will cut this child in half, bring you one piece of it and you one piece of it. One of the individuals was like, yeah, okay, I guess so, it's fair. Half and half, yeah, let's share. The other one was like, no, don't don't hurt my baby. Don't, don't cut my baby in half, just give it to them. I'd rather be without my baby than to have him suffer or hurt him. And King Solomon was like, okay, so you're the true parent. You're the one who actually cares about them. And he gave that individual the one that was willing to let go just to make them the baby make sure that the baby is happy and safe um, he gave them the child justice will be done and i'm not saying black and white justice i'm talking cos cosmic just justice the real truth will prevail so don't worry if you don't have all the proofs and all the paperwork and everything there is that you need to show karma or the judge that you're worthy or that your true heart is what will uh, tilt the scale to your favor. Okay, let's see. Let's take a look at your extended and I'll give you messages from the Akashic Tarot. All right, if, if you're new, so what I do, I take the re uh, repetitive uh, numerological aspect of the cards. So for example, I have nine, nine, and nine, right? Three nines. And, uh, and let's see. Um, there's only one ace, right? Two, three, four. No five, only one six. Okay, so basically we're taking all of these and I mean, we're probably not taking all of this, but I'm talking to myself for a little bit, so bear with me. <laughs> okay, three, five, 15, 19, 2021. Okay, so this is the row of the Major Arcana. We will address that in the extended. We will address this in the extended. This brings out, by the way, a new narrative, okay? A new and added narrative. And we'll speak about what it means to have 999, um, the Hierophant and the Devil together this we were kind of clear about and then we will clear the table I'll do a new shuffle and I'll present a Celtic cross which will also be a new reading so a potential either a new point of view of the same narrative or a ways to actually look at it from what will actually be like um, chronologically like events whatever it will bring out Every time it brings something different, it's kind of cool. And we will conclude with messages from my Celtic runes. I will do a rune reading. Okay. All right, guys. So that was intense. Um, the uh, link to your extended is right here below. Link to my tarot master class. If you want to learn tarot for me, go check it out. I have a class for each uh, tarot card, and I'm going to upload more lessons um, soon. 
and also my email so if you want to be clear about your own narrative and you need clarification and illumination then just email me it's really easy to schedule a session with me um, because I do it globally online and we talk face to face live or on the phone so yeah um, is that it yeah I think that's it happy Halloween I will see you for the December reading good luck have fun see you right now in the extended much love Bye for now, Libra. Yeah, okay, so I forgot the Akashic Tarot, but I'm, I'm also human. <laughs> Here we are now. I'm just editing it. Like a second after I pressed stop, I was like, ah, uh, I think I forgot something. All right, messages for my Libra seeker for November from the Akashic Tarot. Please. Messages from my Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for November from the Akashic Tarot. Accurate, clear message for Libra for November. Okay. Oh, that one really wants to talk. Huh. Ad sum. There are a few ghosts here, a few fairies. That's okay. And the word is Adsu. Okay, let's read. So interesting. This and it's number twenty-two. Gorgeous. Twenty-two is a master number. So this ought to be good. Okay. Mm. Adsu, upright. A candle casts light on an open book held by a young woman sitting at a desk. Her eyes are drawn to the side as if she were distracted from her reading by a curious thought or someone nearby. She is surrounded by several people, many of whom are somewhat translucent and glowing. An angel bends and whispers, Adsu, I arrive. I am here. I attend you. Adsum is a single word that has many, many meanings. First, it affirms your own strength and focus in the present. You can use it as a command word whenever you find yourself distracted from what's at hand. Say, Adsum, I am here, and feel yourself attend to the situation or person before you. This word also declares your arrival. I'm sorry, this word also declares your arrival at your goals and all your wishes coming true. Say, Adsum, I arrive. And take a moment to see yourself reaching your goals absolutely. Whenever you get this card, know that you're on your way to the results you seek with the help of others and the glorious help of spirit. This card also reminds you to be assured that no matter what's happening in your life, spirit is always there for you. They reach out to you, sharing their light and power and serving you in every way. From the, la from the least to the highest, from grandma to the, to the divine, an eternal community attends you. Say Adsum and take some time to attend them too. You can act on your promise to God or spirit. Li uh, I'm sorry. You can act on your promise to God as spirit lifts you upon their shoulders. You are present for each other, and together you arrive at your dreams. Ad sum. I don't know the verbal meaning of it, but I like the meaning of it. So. Throughout this month, every time you feel the need, remember this. Close your eyes and say, Adesu. Okay. Now I'll see you again in the extended. <laughs>